Now, welcome back, Dukes and Duke guests. Welcome back to YouTube. It's Eddie Ed. You're watching Eddie Ed TV. Back with another reaction video. We're doing some more food stuff, man. We got uh, Peaks 100. We're doing a video from Peaks 100, man. He got the, um, he said he went to the most dangerous carry out in America. Now, you know, like I said in my other video, I've always been, been trying to do food reviews since like 2020. I know food reviews aren't new, but I've been on the food review idea, um, going around touring places and doing that stuff, but didn't get to it with the homie Willie. But we're about to watch a video from uh, Peaks 100 trying some food at one of the most dangerous spots in America. Let's see what he says, man. Make sure you drop your thoughts in the comments after this video. Interact with your man, Cicetti at TV. Let's get straight to it. Pow title and thumbnail today baby 50 will be taking me to the most dangerous carry out in the dmv if you don't know who baby 50 is he's a rapper out of southeast dc and apparently he be on some straight up gangster shit so i'm headed to southeast right now and i honestly do not know where about to eat at baby 50 wasn't really going into details he just was like i'm gonna hit you when i'm outside so i'm like all right fuck it what? so y'all are used to seeing like the washington dc from like the tv where you see the oh yeah also you know peaks 100 he, he throws some uh curse words in there so use discretion is advised president the white house but i'm taking you guys to the real washington dc right now look at this shit yeah, a whole bunch of this brick is the buildings. Spot that the media don't show y'all. So I'm walking into the gas station right now, y'all. Yeah, DC. We've been waiting for 50 for the past. Yeah, I've been I've been around DC, and you see a lot of brick buildings, man. The colors there, honestly, I don't like them. It, it they have some depressing looking buildings because of the bricks and the colors of it. But yeah, I, I ain't really like some spots when I went over there. 45 minutes, 50 not here. I got a piss and I'm thirsty. Man, that door handle was terrible. Can I get, uh, let me get, you got Calypso's in here? They got the whole let store, dang, they have the whole store behind the window. Oh, you got to order it like a restaurant, like a fast food spot. They got the drinks and everything behind the glass. And look, it's super secure. Hey, if it's dangerous down there, I don't blame them. You got to do what you got to do. Look at this thing. Is, this is how they should have most most convenience stores, honestly. Because people be, yeah, they got to do something like this all across the board. Let me get a Pepsi. As y'all see, this is how you know you in the hood, bro. I know. You see this whole junk. The whole It's just store. the fucking bulletproof glass. <laughs> bulletproof it's, glass. It's bullet, it's just, bulletproof everything. They're not playing. Listen, that's how you learn, bro. In life, y'all gotta learn lesson and and, and 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 advance like this. Like if if the store is gonna get robbed, do this, do these. You know what I mean? Like this this guy is on the the owners are on point. Like a lot of people don't learn their lesson in life. They still do the same thing and to get the same result. You know what I mean? Shoot, I gotta take that in, into consideration. I'm talking to myself as well. But let's continue the video. It's the hood. Yeah. My car. Dang. So 50 told me he was going wow. to move to the most dangerous hood and 50 ain't even here. He about, he about, oh, hey, my boy 50 here was good with you. I was just calling him. Hey, look, my boy 50, he in this junk. Where we about to go eat at? We even about to go eat at Hong Kong. Or we about to eat at the Murray's right here with the shocks at on the case. The Murray's be hidden? Nah, they ain't heading on with Hong Kong. Heading on Hong Kong, the best in the, in the whole DMV, whole DC. Best in the DMV? Yeah. All right, bet we gonna go there then. Oh, I'm about to get a juice right here first, though. My mouth dry as shit. All right, that's a bet. Y'all, 50 said that the Hong Kong is out of bounds. Hey, what happened if we go over there, bro? A nigga could just walk in and just blow both. Hong Kong is out of bounds. Hey, what happened if we go over there, bro? A nigga could just walk in and just blow both our ass up. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> This is so ridiculous. What do you mean? Uh, somebody could come in there and just blow. What are y'all doing there, bro? Why is Peaks over there, bro? 
And so look, oh, we got my out of dump of the nigga right there. It's out of bounds. 12 right there. I ain't want to bust a hat on me when I should have said fuck it. Damn. Should have just up the 12 right there. I ain't want to up and pat it on me, man. I should have said fuck it. Every time you outside, is a 50 50 chance of living. Then yeah. you on a roller coaster, 50, when you jump, jumping out the airplane, 50 50 chance of living. When you in the hood, every hood, 50 50 chance of living. If a nigga got the balls to just walk up and kill both of us, we dead. No <laughs> bullshit. What? That's right. <laughs> Yo, how are you gonna just talk like that, man? Just that is just the the y'all gotta get out y'all gotta get out of there, man. What do you mean, fifty? I can't walk to get a Pepsi from the convenience store. Why is it fifty fifty? Dang it! Out the plane. That's why they call you fifty. Yeah. <laughs> fifty fifty chance. <laughs> fifty fifty chance. Yeah, no bullshit. <laughs> Let me get. We want three orders or three three orders or three wings. With fries, salt and pepper, mumbo sauce on everything. How many orders? Three orders of the same thing. Salt and pepper, mumbo sauce on everything. Okay. Three wings with fries, mumbo sauce, everything. Three orders, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Nah. So 50, he about to introduce us to the good man real quick. And he's oh, a good snap. man, 50. Good man right here. Good man. Yeah, Yo, you about to get robbed, uh, Peaks. Fifty is trying to get you, Doc. All oh, good, man. What's good, bro? What's good, bro? Normal day in the hood. What's up with the man? What's good. How you feeling, man? It's cool. Right here, What's up, bro? What's up, bro? How you feeling, dog? You good? Big Glizzock. You ripped it. Got the little camera, man. What's up, you know? What's up? What's your name? Cam. Cam, my name, though. I was trying to see y'all know where y'all at right now? Yeah. Hey, where we at, brother? Hey, tell them real quick. Tell the vlog. We up top. We up top. We just chilling. We ain't really worried about too much or nothing up here. Comfortability. You see us how we is right now? We just chilling. Just cooling. We on the island right now. You hear me? I'm on the phone right now as we speak with my feet up. Slime. You see my man got the ace on, just cooling. Another day on Afghanistan. Afghanistan, motherfucking spy. He said he said the Hong Kong the best in the city. That's true. Ain't no doubt. Should miss him, bro. Should miss him. Nigga grew up on that. Should have gave. That I should have gave you a half and half from there. That's the little iced tea shit. Well, that should be hidden. That should be hidden. I mean, I can hey, add it when I get there. Like, hey yo, oh, hey bro, come good. here, y'all. Come here, y'all. Hey, look. Hey, bring this vlog right here. Bring the vlog right here. Niggas talking about they fuck seven bitches in one night. Come here, y'all, nigga. 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 You said it's the best curry out in the hood? Yeah, the best curry out in the hood right here. So 50 ain't tell me, y'all. This joint is all cash only, you feel me? You got to pull this joint, make sure, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no scam on that motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about? Ain't no doubt, ain't no doubt. See, look, hey, he shot. They saying it's good. I'm good with it? Man, you good, man. How do you good, man? I ain't really feeling it, bro. We ain't going to scam you, man. He said, <laughs> hey, he said what? You, man. We ain't going to scam you, man. Where is coming from? Run them down, man. I ain't no doubt. So Dang, look, everybody got bulletproof everything over there, man. That means it's crazy down there. Wow. Hey, that's 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 how it is. You gotta you gotta bundle up. Boys. We got the food. Hey, hey, this the best shit. Yeah, that's Ain't the no best, doubt. Shit right the best shit, Nick. Look, y'all, y'all see what we got? About to go get the motherfucking iced tea from shop. Yeah. That shit that's a be, bet. You don't care about eating outside? Nah, I eat outside every review. Okay, then. For real? Every review, yeah. Okay, then. All right, y'all. So, look. 50 got us on the block right now. He said that this is the best chicken and mumbo in the city. Show him that. Hey, it's the, the most, most tastiest. The most tastiest. What'd you say, baby? This is what it's looking like. Hey. Hey, you can't lie, Peaks. I'm going to get back with Dalmo. He's down. Chicken mumbo. Chicken mm mumbo. -hmm. Y'all see. I gotta get back on the metro outside, baby. Yeah. What's up with that? <laughs> that shit hit him. Sit down. I'm gonna be honest. The mumbo sauce out here is different than the mumbo sauce in Maryland. They got mumbo sauce in Maryland? Bro, you know they got mumbo sauce in Maryland, bro. I don't be in Maryland. You don't be in Maryland? I don't be in Maryland. But the whole DMV got mumbo sauce. DC area? I ain't know that. You ain't know that? VA? I don't know if VA got it. Maryland got it. I don't know if VA got it. How if that shit come from D.C. though? The south side. What? The mumbo sauce? Yeah, they stealing. You think so? That shit fake. That shit cat blood if 
Yeah. If it ain't there. You think so? Anywhere else but Hong Kong, Cat Blood. So what about Yums? Cat Blood. But somebody told me that Yums had the best in DC. They lied. They lied. They know who told you that. You said it's the Hong Kong? Hong Kong. I don't even know what. I don't even know nothing about no Yum. Nah, he don't like it. <laughs> he don't like, like it. He don't like it. Most Chinese jokes, the chicken don't got seasoning. For real? There's some seasoning in this chicken. Shit I'm down, telling you. That's one thing I can say. A lot of the Chinese carryouts y'all, y'all go to would just be batter on the wings. This one at awesome. least. Yeah, you know what? That that's 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 um that's accurate because the wings will be so crispy and looking real good, but then it's no flavor, it's no it's nothing, it's no seasoning on it. You know what I mean? And this is one Vietnamese spot that used to make some real good fried chicken. It was seasoned and it was so nice and crispy and it was flavorful. But I've been to some Chinese spots where it's just like crispy chicken with no seasoning. Like, it don't taste like anything. It's just grease and crisp. At least they season the chicken. Also, another thing, there ain't no feathers on this junk. You like chicken with feathers on it? What that mean? Like when they be having them little hairs on it. Look like pews. You mess with that shit? I ain't never seen that on my shit. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Maybe I don't pay attention. Bro, y'all shit don't got the feathers. That's a good thing. What that mean if it's feathers on it though? They, they ain't cleaning the chicken. They ain't plucking the feathers off. They just frying that shit as is. They butcher it, fry it, give it to niggas. Nah, I know. When you see shit coming out the chicken wing. Yeah, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah. This right here. It's a decent chicken wing. Better than yours. This shit ain't like this. You see how it's light red? It's light red. It's not no gooey. It's real sticky though. Okay. This shit hit. It ain't gooey though. That gooey shit that come out as chunks and shit. Yeah. That shit need to come out smooth, oily. Now sometimes I have mumbo sauce and it tastes like sweet and sour sauce. This don't taste like sweet and sour sauce. Nah. Hey, this some authentic shit. For real? I mean, you telling me that this is the best in the city? Most definitely. It tastes better than y'all. I'm saying it is you for real though, or you just... Bruh, I don't lie in the videos, bruh. Look, y'all know, if this shit was nasty, I would tell 50. There's literally, bruh, some seasoning in this chicken. Dead ass serious. You think I'm lying? You ain't gonna give it to the kids now, is it? Am I gonna give it to the kids? Bruh, I'm on a diet, bro. I be eating every day. Shit hit, though. I ain't gonna hold you. Only thing is, the fries are a little too soggy, bruh. Yeah. Way too soggy. Yeah. But as far as the chicken, yeah, the chicken hit it. I'm gonna give the Hong Kong a 9.5 out of 10 for carryout because it do taste better than the other chicken and mumbo I have. What you rate this out of 10? That's a motherfucking hood. That's a. What you give it? I give it a 9.5 out of 10. Oh, it's a motherfucking hood. You give it a 10 out of 10? 20 out of 10. 20 out of 10? Hey, listen, all I know is Peaks better not have said nothing crazy because 50 was going to bring his chances down to 25. So this the best this the best food in Southeast, period. You can eat this every day you would. Nah. Nah. Now was. I want to eat this shit every day, though, but I eat this shit, though. You said you eat it yet? If it was the last shit on earth, I've had to eat this every day. You said you would? But I don't know. <laughs> this shit, like, it's torture and all that, but every day, though, that's that pushing. No bullshit. That's the hardest stuff, but that's Yeah, that's the hardest stuff. I think no I bullshit. eat bullshit. Chipotle every day. <laughs> it probably some shit just went on. A nigga probably just got something happened to a nigga or something. <laughs> what the heck? Look how they just looking around and hold on. Look at this shot. Look at the dude. Look at is he looking at this drink? And look how the, the the guy on the right. He's looking at the something so like hard, but 
50 is over there talking like nothing is happening, man. Somebody got popped down the street potentially. And he's like, yeah, something probably happened to somebody. Some, you know, this is too normal to be. I don't even know what to say. This is terrible living, bro. Hey, listen, man. I guess that's how it is, man. Some places just like that. Multiple murders. I don't know. We're, what what are we talking about? Oh, shoot. You want my jumps, bro? Oh, my son. The cops walking outside like that? Yo, peaks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll just do K.E. Bro, I just told this nigga I, I had ate about a real before there can. was an action by the goon. Nah, we did. Them niggas blitzing all like shit. I just, but, yeah, nah. endless, damn. Bro, I told you I just had to party before I Yo, rice gum. No, that's not right. <laughs> that was rice gum. Something probably what happened. What the fuck? Stop. My coffee's in the back. I'm yelling at you, bro. What's up? Hey. Out here on the softest block in D.C. Y'all like, for Chill. real? Here's what I I can't even see him. Listen, so his list got 200,000 views on it. It will. You're not that famous, you my guy. It's a small time, bro. Hey. I'm in the streets every day like a llama. Every time you outside. Dang, the cops is ruthless as well. He said, you're not that famous. Something, something, you F you or something. Dang. The cops don't give a drop. 50-50 chance of living. 50-50 chance of living. Just going outside is <clears throat> a little bit intense, man. I know some people might be like, yeah, that's normal. You know, you could get hit by a car. No, we ain't talking about that type of stuff. We're talking about somebody trying to get you, pop you off, you know, end you personally. Like, <clears throat> that type of 50-50 is crazy. 50-50 natural disaster or, you know, accidents type of stuff. That's okay. Everybody know that, you know, but man. Yeah, tweet Twin Peaks was really risking himself going over there and all that stuff, man. Drop in the comments what's the most dangerous spot you've ever been at to go eat some food. If you have, uh, if you have had to, or if you just heard about a good spot that's in a dangerous spot, and you say, you know, I'm gonna go over there and still try the food, even though it's dangerous, you still went over to try it. Drop it in the comments, let me know, and smash the like button on this video. Let's run it up. It's Eddie at TV. Catch you guys next video. Peace. Thank you.